ways, Salesforce Connect helps you become more efficient and effective while managing your book of business is through list views. These allow you to display, filter, sort, and find records. We have already created a few standard list views for you, but did you know you can also clone and customize these or create personal list views yourself? Let's find out how. You can create list views on any section within Connect. For this video, we will start on the Contracts tab. By default, you always start on the Recently Viewed list. To view all available lists, click the drop-down arrow next to Recently Viewed. Here, you can see the standard lists and any lists you've created yourself. Let's click on the Contracts Added Today list. You are now looking at the contracts that were created today within Connect. If you want to search within a list view for a particular item, you can do so by clicking into the Search This List box. To sort your list, click on the headers of your view. For instance, you can click on the account name to sort alphabetically. While you can't make changes to any standard list view directly, you can clone a list and save a new personalized version. To do this, simply click the gear icon and select Clone. Next, you must give your custom list a new name. Make sure to name the list to something you can easily find later. Now, click Save and a copy of the original list view with your new name is available. The filters will automatically open for you to edit. However, you can always open these again later by clicking the filter icon in the top right corner. From here, you can update an existing filter or add a new filter. To update an existing filter, simply click the specific filter and change the value. To add an additional filter, click the Add Filter button, which will open a new filter window. From here, first select which field you want to filter by. For instance, you can choose Sales Type Description. Then, input the value you want to see or remove through this filter. In this example, we can choose to only display contracts with the sales type description of Cemetery Pre-Need and Pre-Need Insurance. Finally, click Done to add the filter. Once all your filters are set, be sure to click Save to apply the filter changes. As a warning, if any filter is still highlighted yellow, you have not yet saved the list, which means none of your changes are showing yet in your list view. Great, now you have your filters defined to what you want to see, but the view isn't showing all of the columns you need. To change the display fields or rearrange the columns, click the gear icon and choose Select Fields to Display. A pop-up window then appears with two boxes. On the left, you will see all the available fields you can add to your view. On the right, you will see all of the fields selected to display. To remove a field from the list, Choose the name of the field in the right box and click the arrow pointing to the left. To add a field to your list view display, choose the name of the field in the left box and click the arrow pointing to the right. To rearrange the order of your display fields, simply click the name of the field in the right box and use the up and down arrows to move its position. Once you are satisfied with the display fields, click the Save button to update your list. You have now successfully cloned and customized your list view. To make further changes to this list view or add a new one, simply click the gear icon again and select your action. To add a list view from scratch, click New within the list view controls and continue with the same steps we just reviewed. By the way, did you know that your list views can be accessed from your mobile app? Within the app, use your navigation menu to find the section with your list view. You can find and select your list view at the top of the screen. I hope you've enjoyed this TNT video on Salesforce Connect. Please share these tips with your friends and colleagues and comment on this video to let our team know which tips you've enjoyed the most or if you have any requests for future videos. Subscribe to this YouTube channel to see all upcoming TNT videos.